create a commission request for a buyer. Now you'll proceed to offers and commissions. You must create an offer. You can name it whatever you'd like. And then you're going to answer anything with the red asterisk. So you'll select, when it asks for property, you'll select from KWLS. Make sure you search all listings and then you can begin to search for the property. Once you find it, select the select button and it pulls it in. Now, what if this is a new construction or the home doesn't have an address? Maybe it's a piece of land or something. Then instead of selecting from the KWLS, like if it's not on the market at all, or if it's brand new, you'll have to create the address yourself. The best way to do that is just to click in here and just type in a bunch of random letters till you see it says create manually and you'll select create manually then you'll select the country maybe you'll type in even the legal description here so block one lot four section five and then of course you'll know at least the city and the state and the zip code um, select submit and now you have your address. Then you move on to parties. You only need to answer anything with the red star. So seller, you could do test if you wanted. Um, everybody else is listed with the red star. Then go to terms. You'll type in the full amount here that's on the executed contract. You could type it all in this box if you want to. Nothing else has a red star, so we're going to go to agent analysis. Nothing with the red star here, so select save. So once you've created the offer, you must accept the offer, and then you'll select Manage Commission. So it has a error message within this box. So you want to edit that general information here, and pick your contract date, scroll down, pick it, and save changes. So if you're adding a bonus or a deduction or a concession where you're sharing your commission with the client, um, or anything like that, you'll do edit agent payment, you'll scroll down to add item, and then you'll choose what type of um, item here that you need to add, whether that's a bonus or a concession or a deduction, and just complete those fields. And select save when you're done. Now if you're adding another agent, meaning maybe you uh, tag team on this deal with another agent on your team, not the listing agent, uh, or the agent that's in another market center or brokerage. I'm saying like if you're literally on the same team and you're splitting the units. Edit your agent payment. Select the proper units. So if this is a 50-50 split, you'll do 0.5 and then calculate commission. Or maybe you're getting 60% of the deal, so you'll do 0.6 and then calculate commission and save changes. Now you'll go to add another agent. You'll search for the agent that's on your team, and it's already there at point four. It are automatically calculated, and then you'll select Save Changes. Now, uh, once you're done with, with all of this, now again, you only have to add that other agent if they're literally on your team and you did the deal together. You represented the buyer, both of you guys. Um, however, typically, you'll never have to do that. You'll just have to um, pick your contract date and then um, select submit. Now, whenever you, you must select submit for this to go through, uh, if it says open, that means it hasn't been submitted. You must select submit for this to go through to the back office. And that's it.